it's twitching. Uh, May 1st, 20th, at like 8.30, right outside Burton Public Library in Phoenix. It's like reading facial stuff. You can tell glitching. It's not going to record much of this, I'm sure. By the very number of YouTube videos I have, um, some of which cover extremely sensitive matter, um, Tilski Windmills plays with dynamite the whole time. Like the Bible, prime number generator. By, and then by sheer volume of textual composition. Um, Me, God, do whatever the fuck you, you want. Me, you fucking asshole. Anyways, oh, see, there's the glitch. It's glitching. But by sheer volume of academic work, there a, a some sort of shadow military response. Oh, should only be expected. I mean, what else does all this surveillance apparatus do except for keep track of who's expressing what discontent and how? So, I mean, like, by number to put out there, you no know, far fetched to expect a response that isn't acknowledged among like animal tracing. No one. No one in the government answers for anything. They killed Kennedy, and no one brought a murder trial for like seven years. No one cared. Oh, yeah, I remember where I was. I was eating a plate of ribs and uh, staring at the neighbor's daughter out the window. If she was, you know, in her backyard or whatever. I, ah, Kennedy died. How about it? Yeah. I finished the plate of ribs, of course. They were fantastic ribs. I spent a lot of time on them. <clears throat> but, uh... <laughs> so, like, uh... Taros health. For me to say, like... They are being less than professional. And, um... Unassuming. Should, is, is no, to me, it's no stretch at all, but anyone who's watched these things, oh, we're my social special, buddy. Yeah, I only put the writing out there when, how I can, which isn't, which means not much exposure, but I mean, the people who decide what gets to be said, <laughs> they certainly take notice of what I, I do. And um, so, Tarot Self is on the bullshit the whole time I'm there. Would you know what? I had a, an African-American woman as my doctor and I was so excited because I'm like, finally. This, and she was for all intents and purposes. She, There's no like link for between, like she has plausible deniability. All the, the bullshit. Like a, I call there, I can't get an answer. They give me the wrong type, either a virtual appointment when I'm in person or, and it's just like, they, no matter what I say on the phone isn't what is recorded on their things regarding me. Like, they'll say I have a video appointment, even though I have, I said de deliberately, like, in person. I don't trust my phone for anything. It doesn't ever work. It gets the $30 a month plan for AT&T on the uh, emergency broadband program still. <laughs> and I'm homeless in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's just like, you have no rights. Uh, I get, both eyes have been black in the last month. They heal pretty quickly now. I get my ass jumped like every other week. It's crazy. I should be dead so many times by now. Uh, and like this same cop, I think I made a YouTube video about it. Officer Mick, remember that? This idiot needs his fucking eyes checked. Two murders that he's trying to like make me think that they're trying to, I mean, I know they're trying to pin stuff on me, but like, He's like, that's, he's letting me know, shut the fuck up. 
That's their intention. I mean, this is ridiculous. But uh, so Terrace Health is, is when I go there, uh, they have these outlets, right? You could use, and as I'm waiting in the lobby, I plug in my phone. <laughs> so the next time, naturally, they've hidden all the outlets and I like go behind a kiosk and plug it in. And like those things give away my location. They give away all sorts of things, which is how, so it's like, it's uh, just when I, cause I say there's a surveillance system, that's in my favor, that's good stuff. That's prophecy. And the unfolding of his wings shall spread, shall cover the breadth of thy land, O, o Emmanuel. Like that's uh, the surveillance state. I don't fear it. Like that's, that is a uh, deliverance as prophecy. And um, so the fact that I like my phone's plugged in there, gives away my location, proves that I'm there. And once I had all my stuff still on, like 800 pages of handwritten notes, like I had to file a police report to get to try to get my prescription refilled, my the bridge, and only when I plugged in the plugged the thing in behind the kiosk, they were, she just referred me to this place which didn't do the thing, even though Taros did do the thing, which I came to know once going to the other place, clear across town in 95 degree Phoenix afternoon heat, during COVID still bullshit where you couldn't get a drink of water anywhere, in the name of safety and. Um, health load of shit they just fed you two years of bullshit and uh you're swallowing 10 trillion dollars now to this medic the medocracy the bullshit medical establishment that portends to like take control of all action and like you need a doctor's permission to take a shit soon it's like america you are a fucking cesspool you really are a cesspool pathetic piece of shit cesspool I was what was decent about it in its um, rhetoric or uh, any virtue in the freedom of speech because all your politicians are hand puppets uh, with like someone's hand up their ass did I tell you to fucking say that <laughs> you want to keep you want to keep talking for me you want me to want to keep being a politician uh, can you put your hand up my ass and move my mouth and say yes of course. But uh, so at Taros, uh, once I plug in the thing, then they get they want the copy now of the police report that I had to fill once my stuff is stolen on 16th Street and Thomas at eight in the morning, where there's no homeless people at all, like right there. Well, homeless, but that doesn't mean there's not still a bunch of scumbags in the cheap apartments and stuff. It's like literally within a block and a half of the ch children's hospital. All this medical stuff, which is all around the area. And at like eight in the morning, my stuff is stolen. But weeks later, to get this bridge, I got to fill out this police, resp police report. Well, no, that police report was hit because this black guy in front of a black state trooper clocks me in the fucking head. And I'm saying, looking at the trooper like, the only reason I will beat his fucking ass is because you're here. You're going to fucking do anything about this? I can't respond because this fucking guy's here. And he doesn't, of course, doesn't do his fucking job. Uh, look for uh, blah, 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 blah. the non-response ever. They didn't ask me if I want to press charge or anything. They didn't go and look for the guy. I've been assaulted by black people 20 times since I've been in Phoenix. I was hit by a black person in a car on Christmas Day after being hit by a, a baseball bat by a black person riding a bike driving by to assault my left knee also on Christmas, 16 hours prior. Uh, I've been hit jump by black people so many fucking times in this town and I have to fucking apologize for my family not having history of slavery or anything like that um but to say that but and I was still excited to have a black woman be my doctor because I'm like she's in the medical industry I'm gonna get like she's gonna be the most human person that I've had as a doctor yet because all of them have been dudes and they, they're all like totally sterile and placid and they take orders from somebody regarding me so like I don't even know if they could have stopped giving me my prescription if they wanted to, if they clinically wanted to. Um, but like, I was super excited to have her. So, and she is not, she's not the issue. I'm, she's just my doctor at the place. But like, every time I go there, like, the whole staff is right there. Like, you see the whole staff, at, but, like, I can't get a call to go through. I can't get, like, anything. They'll say, they'll put me on hold to let another phone ring right next to them. And, like, I can't get a hold of anybody. And 
Then this receptionist fucks me off. This is on the last, uh, one of my last videos called An Aterosius Hypocrisy. Uh, I'm like, I can't, you, they just, in a month, like they filled, I got my stuff stolen in March, couldn't get the bridge filled because of this nonsense. I just went the month without my prescription. Then they filled it in April. And then somehow uh, there was a, I, I had a scheduled an appointment, which I was hardly cognizant of because she was giving me all the stuff about how to get the bridge because this, my stuff was stolen the day I was supposed to have the original appointment, a, a different appointment originally. And uh, I missed that appointment, missed one call when I can't get a hold of them ever. I think it's impossible getting a hold of these people. Uh, they totally dropped me as a patient. What's the, like, no warning, no anything. Not like, uh, okay, don't fill his prescription. He has to come into the office because I didn't know. I figured that might be what they wanted. After they totally screwed up and this receptionist deliberately gave me the wrong information and de deliberately lied about how they don't do those services that they absolutely do do according to the other place. They're at Taros. I, they cut me off as a patient. So then yesterday, though, at a different Taros, because it's the number I know, and they have my stuff on file, or ought have at least, and they, they have at least, like, my book and social security and my access card, uh, which was stolen. I, it's impossible to get that replaced. You call this number, and it says, please call back on this number. Then you call on that number, and it says, please call back on this number, giving you the same number you're calling right there and the alternative. No matter which one you call, you can't get a hold of anything. It's, it's totally Arizona right there. Uh, it's, uh, it's very frustrating. But, but they do have nothing but homeless people flock here from all over the nation, so you can't blame them for too much. But they also have their goddamn cycles and their fucking troops, their goddamn circuits are based around me for months and months, but I can't get a goddamn thing done. This all originally happened because Walmart wouldn't fill my prescription. It was supposed to fill one day. Come back tomorrow, we'll fill it. They don't fill it. Then I come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow, we'll fill it. Then I come back the next day. Come back tomorrow. I didn't go in the fourth day. I just... Tried a new methodology. So I go, I start the whole process over with Taros at a different place, at the McDowell location. As I'm trying to set up this new place, I was gonna go to one of, I wasn't gonna go to the 27th Avenue. I don't wanna go there, so I say to the person, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I just wanna, don't wanna like bring any awkward situation there. I'll just go to one of the other ones. If it's arbitrary, I'll just go to one of the other ones. So I go, but like they're trying to, like, it's, Everything it's doing is in Spanish, even though I hit English. And uh, the woman, like, I know she's full of shit, and she's not helping me at all, and I think it, oh, well, she's full of shit. And, oh, wait, the McDonald one has one this afternoon. It was 9 o'clock in the morning. It, they have one this afternoon at 3. So I make my way to McDowell and do the, psychiat do the uh, intake with the gentleman. That guy was awesome. They, they even waited for me to be late because Valley Metro knew I needed to be somewhere, so it didn't pick me up. And they were doing this weave thing with like two buses at the same time where I was. It was it was it was blatantly, offensively, insultingly bullshit. And uh, but that first day at the McDowell one, it got solved, got that done. Now I'm just waiting for them to call me for the psychiatric evaluation so that I can then get this thing, my prescription that I've been taking for 14 years, almost without fail, except for when I was in prison, those nine months and maybe a, a handful or collective of two months, maybe of days off I had ever taken from the drug in 14 years, besides nine months in prison. Um, can't get that, so I, uh, so I can get that filled. Now, once the intake is done, I, with the guy who was totally professional, cool, uh, waited for me to be late, and so we got it done, it was awesome. Uh, I call about the psychiatric evaluation, and so we set something up at the Olive place the next day. That was the only one that was open, I'm like, happy to take it, otherwise I gotta wait till for 10 days from now just to get some stupid thing done that they already did with me months earlier and I was already receiving care and got prescriptions but then because I missed one appointment um, and missed one phone call when my phone is stolen every other fucking day. This is the 10th Alcatel Calypso I've replaced this month. It's crazy. I just got my ass whooped three days ago at Cass in which my phone fell out of my pocket and I'm being chased by knives and the, well, wouldn't you know it, the black guard was is like telling them, they okay, you can, you can hit him, but you can't stab him. It doesn't matter, they're coming up with knives. And then they put me in restraints because I gotta pull a knife out. Say, I got a fucking knife too. Like it's absolutely, they are looking to kill somebody in cast. That's what kind of 
uh, atmosphere you're at, this absolutely godless den of filth and fucking low-life scum. That's Cass. Anyways, that's the Cass, the crass Cass, the crass class of Cass, which is the only Christian charity for a homeless person to go to. <clears throat> but I go to, so I go to the Olive Street one the next day, and this guy, like, they just, like, they're fuck up, and then I made the video, and they're, every time I go in there, they're just, like, not on the up and up, like, everybody's not on the up and up, and they're, it's like a geo-coordinated, geo-coordinational, -coordinate, meaning, like, it's dependent on, like, a not being able to geolocate my cell phone signal. It's a, it's a lot of contention. Uh, you don't get murder attempted on Christmas having ha unleashed more insight into the Bible than the Pope ever has in his 2022-year history and then get hit and run, hit by an attempt, and, as an attempted murder or at least to make me paralyzed because the guy was going absolutely flying and then later lied on his affidavit thing, his statement said I jumped on it, even though he called the ambulance. If I jumped on this thing, you wouldn't think he would call the ambulance. Phillips Law is also full of shit. Uh, J Jordan Diagrastiago or whatever, it's an Italian name, that guy was a piece of, is a piece of shit uh, litigator for his client's behalf. It was like trying to make it establish the case against me that I'm somehow racist because two black guys assaulted me in the same Christmas day. It's ridiculous, but as a, in a modern white man in America, you can't have any racial opinion because the predecessors were such pieces of shit that you now lose validity because the predecessors, but even those same predecessors, their kids, their offspring, absolutely fuck up my entire life and oppress me in every goddamn way that everyone has been oppressed, but I wear like as white and for being white. It's crazy. The whites hate me and every other single race hates me and is constantly doing bullshit malfeasance, deceptive and misdirectional around me, dissembling all the time nonetheless, notwithstanding, I should say. Uh, so I go there the next the next day at the Olive One with Troy and this, it's like, oh, you okay, well, you ask me a couple questions and sets it up. Are you taking any other illicit drugs? I'm like, what, it was marijuana, like uh, illicit, what do you think? So he, or we don't need you a drug test, never a drug test ever once in 14 years to take Adderall, ever. I've been on this drug without incident, without one time, like on schedule, never a problem whatsoever in 14 years on my end. Sometimes Walmart doesn't have it in stock and I have to wait. But besides that, never uh, selling drugs, losing drugs, approaching for early fill, never, 14 years. Now I gotta take a piss test because I took some meth and I had said I didn't do any illegal drugs, but I said, well, let me back up. When you guys wouldn't fill my prescription, I tried meth. Oh, well, we can't, we can't fill you. We can't, we can't cover you. I have my livelihood, sir. This fucking moron, Troy, this moron fucking shill scumbag fucking piece of shit. Excuse of fucking clinical care named Troy at Taro's Health is a fucking moron and was there to deny me the thing based on some and it's random random well then can we do it tomorrow because so they knew I came in there taking meth because they won't give me my prescription that I've been on for 14 years I'm like this is Taro's clinical uh, clinical care standard you turn someone into a meth head I was working I mean I uh, now, I, I had a ballpark, I had an IQ estimated at 200, over 200. That was on the same drug that I've used, like Lavin, in every, like, which is astounded their fucking, uh, their, excuse me, their, they, which is astounded their, uh, their, uh, their, pharma, their pharmacy, like, experts. That was the Yorkville uh, cop. That was like the lore, the lore, the myth going around Yorkville as spread around that it was something over 200. 
But I mean, this is on that same drug, which I've used better than they've ever seen anybody use it. I've made that, I, like, I've made strange, I've made good fire with this, with their combustion, and they want credit for it or something. But, like, uh, prime number generator, the physical property of conceptual number, uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages of excellent written script, uh, written prose, uh, perfect body physique, uh, perfect blood pressure, perfect, I mean, these things are in, 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 uh, a, like an expertise, if you could say, an expertise level taking of the drug. I know the, I know the, I know the, the pharmaceutical better than the pharmaceutical industry knows its own drug. I've asked every doctor I've ever had, what is, what is Adderall doing in my brain? Like, what is it, like, uh, making one region in flare, and, or is it just sending out hormones? None of them can tell me you got a, a thing about the actual drug, except it's used for this, or it's known to be associated with this, or this and this and this, but they don't know anything. I, like, I'm like the test subject case with their drug that their, their um, chemists were dreaming of that's going to put this thing, like, th using this properly and well hydrated and eating right finally, and you can do it, you can get on an excellent routine, and that's what it does, is creates an excellent uh, foundation for some sort of, like, daily structure. Notwithstanding, they deny me that at Taros, because, like, they, w I, Walmart wouldn't fill the thing, even though I, like, they kept jerking me off. Taros so as to not create a paper trail when I had to have a bridge, sends me to the wrong place, which doesn't do the thing, which place tells me that Taros actually does do the thing exactly that I needed. And then I go, that same video, and, and a terocious hypocrisy, what you didn't see, what I wasn't so crass as to put on video, was her about to cry because I brought up exactly what she did. And then, then she had to, you, you can hear the voice, well, I'm in, my boss is going to call you tomorrow. Fuck that. I'll just go to a different place. Uh, but that is the standard of care you're going to get at Tiros. Is them turning a... Uh, I mean, I was homeless before that. Starting to be homeless for the very first time in my life. In the winter, right at the edge of winter, is no time to start at all. And they had been good, but they were trying to do it unofficially like uh, is that the normal case they just like cut someone off from a dire thing like uh, just like that and then there's like no trace of him ever being there and do all patients get jerked off by the receptionist in a way that is no way fun or pleasurable and yet I, I'm still without a doctor without my prescription still seeking a better methodology 